What is up, everybody? It is Saturday morning, and I am on my way to Columbia, South Carolina from Charlotte, North Carolina. About a little bit over an hour and a half drive. It's not too bad. And we're going to a big Pokemon card slash sports show uh, put on by Sports Wax Promotions. It's supposed to be about 200 tables, so hopefully there's a good selection. It's also really close to Atlanta, so I'm hoping I get to see some new vendors that I haven't seen before. The local shows always end up being the same people sometimes. I am on the hunt for vintage as always. I'm hoping to get some Destiny Hollows. I need a Shining Celebi. I wouldn't mind picking up some Expedition Hollows while we're down there, but we'll see what we can find. Drop a follow. I'm really enjoying doing these card show videos, uh, interactions with vendors, all my weekend pickups. We are still trying to complete every WotC set out there, so let's get to it. All right, made the first deal of the day. We are trading Erica and Getsis and a little bit of cash for the sun and moon Erica that is theirs. Love this freaking car, dude. I appreciate the deal. Let me get the, the actual cash out wherever it is. Perfect money. These are yours. And we're taking home a sun and moon. Erica is my favorite trainer. Where is it? It's saying it's 2.30. Ain't no fucking way. So. Is that first, Ed? Nope. That's my uh, phone. Or he has my phone. Let's, yeah, they don't have comps on the first edition. Dude, I'm pretty sure this is like a low 100, 150 card. I mean, MP's 150. Any sold recently on there? Um, like a fake is very obvious, right? Yeah, it's no, it's legit. Like kind of effort, it's it's just a different print run. Yeah, for sure. The funny part is I can never tell you which one. Oh yeah, there's no there's no telling the not. difference. At this point, it's just what what pleases you more. So. All right, picking up two Neo Destiny singles, the Dark Ampharos and Porygon 2, 65 bucks, LP-ish condition, but we're good. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, dude. Appreciate it. And then take care of her on the trainers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, making a trade. That 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 and that on my end for a 7.5 Dark Raichu. Hey, I'm a champ in a 10 and the Espeon 9. Probably breaking both of these open for binder cards. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you, man. What is up, everybody? Happy Monday. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone had a great Easter weekend. I had a lot of fun on Saturday down in Columbia, South Carolina at the Embassy Suites. The card show itself was really good. I got a ton of pickups in front of me. You saw quite a few of them in the videos up to this point. Uh, there was plenty of singles that I didn't show picking up. And then later on in the afternoon, after lunch with a bunch of friends and drinks, we ended up hitting up a card shop that was local as well and picked up a couple more cards there. So let's jump right into it. This first stack is all Expedition singles. None of this you saw in the beginning. Uh, just binder fillers, a lot of commons, uncommons, the full heel, a reverse hop it. Uh, we got the Ghastly, the Abra, Machoke, 
Kadabra, that was a really cool one, and the Dragonair as well. So I think I got five or six from the same person. They were just scattered throughout his binder, and uh, it was like four bucks for all of them. And then I paid a dollar for one of these from another vendor. So for five bucks, got a lot more cards for the binder, and just filling in holes as I can find them as we go. The next two cards were two of my favorite pickups of the day. I did end up getting two Neo Destiny Hollows that I needed. I am down to, I think, six or seven cards to finish off Destiny entirely at this point. So these were great. Same seller, same deal. I'm happy. I, I've been kind of striking out lately finding Neo Destiny Hollows or at least finding good deals on them. I pass on a lot of them. I've stated that before due to condition, due to the numbers not being right. I try to comp everything. I try to get the best deals that I physically can. And uh, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. But these two I did pick up and the Dark Ampharos here was actually in really good shape. The only bad part about it was a little bit of a crimped corner on the back side there, but you can't really see it on the front side at all. The hollow was really clean. Um, really overall, not bad. A lot of the Neo Destiny borders are kind of look like they're chipped up. Uh, that was a quality control issue on the card stock when they printed these cards. So it's kind of hard not to find cards that you see the little bit flaking on the entire border, but Clean front, clean card, no creases. I will take that all day. And really LP condition on this card was real close to what I paid for the two of them. So it's almost like I got the Dark Porygon for free. Now the Dark Porygon is really clean hollow, clean border. But if you can see that right there, there is a little bit of a dent on the front of the card. It is more prominent on the backside when you get it in the right light. There's that right there. This is probably one of the worst condition cards that I have bought for the Neo Binder, but I'm kind of letting it slide because the front looks really good and the hollow on this card really shines. There's no major scratches on it, no big indentations anywhere uh, outside of that dent. So I wanted it. It's, uh, it's hard pressed finding perfect cards and when you find perfect cards, they do come with perfect card price tags. So trying to be a little bit on the responsible side, especially when I have LC reverses to find, when I have expedition hollows to find. I don't wanna call it cutting corners, but we're trying to make good decisions where we can. So those two were an awesome pickup together. Uh, I'm gonna skip these. Now you saw a trade where I traded six slabs away for three slabs. The Espeon from Aquapolis, I did break open. I gave that card to Holly, and then I broke open the Legendary Collection Raichu as well. This was a CGC 7.5, really clean card, perfect for the binder. It does have the, um, the almost legendary LC print line on it as well. A lot of those reverses have that print line. Almost impossible not to find on these reverses, but I'm cool with this card. Perfect binder card. Perfect pickup for what I traded. I don't want to. I don't want to call them junk slabs, but it was just a lot of stuff that had been sitting in my trade box for a while. Uh, in that case, and they weren't moving. I wanted to get rid of a lot of cards and pick up some stuff that I needed. So I'm happy to make some space and get rid of some of that lower end. Uh, the ones, the, the the lower score PSA slabs, just the stuff that just doesn't move as well as getting things like this. Now, I'm not getting rid of these cards, but I'm happy I, get, I got rid of the ones that I did for them. Uh, this, I'm gonna throw back into my trade case. So Machamp, uh, Japanese, alt art, easy. Easy trade away all day. I can get something that's worth about a hundred bucks in that price range for this. So it might turn into a couple hollows. I might sell it for cash, but I already have this in my uh, in my personal collection anyway. So this is just a duplicate for me and great pickup overall. I'm gonna save that for last. You've already seen it, but it is my favorite pickup of the day. Later on, uh, after a bunch of us went out to eat and drank, we went to the card shop. I picked up an Expedition Venusaur. Got this for 10 bucks, way under market value. It's actually in pretty decent shape for what it is. It is the non-hollow Venusaur, the 67 card, the higher on in the set. But for 10 bucks, I'm taking an Expedition Rare all day. 
And then I got a Southern Island Togepi. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know I picked up this card because I did post this as my Easter post yesterday. I thought it was appropriate for the day itself uh, being an egg, but this card is sick. The hollow all over is awesome. You can just see how clean that reflection is all over. And the card itself, pretty clean. Got this for 20 bucks. So for $30, I got the pair of these cards. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy I got another card for Southern Islands. I still need, oh, and there's a big swirl there at the bottom of the card. And I think there's like a little half swirl somewhere at the, uh, the top starting, but that one's the more prominent one. I still need more Southern Island cards still than I do actual Neo Destiny Hollows. Southern Islands is the worst out of the entire Neo line uh, for what I need just because I can't find clean copies of cards. I'm not buying destroyed cards. The Porygon 2 I'm letting slide, but I can't find anything great uh, condition wise for those uh, as far as what I've come across out at shows. Uh, when I did get home from the show in the mailbox later that day, I did have a booster box, uh, Darkness of Blaze. I picked this up from one of my buddy's claim sales. Obi, shout out to you for selling me this. $100 shipped. Uh, I thought that was a great deal. I'm going to put this in storage and sit on it for a while. It's not the most sought after Sword and Shield set, but if it's worth more down the road, it's already worth more I'm, in my eyes than what I paid for it, $100 shipped cash. Uh, but if it ends up being two, 250, 300 in a year, two years from now, I'll pull it out and sell it at that point. So it's going in the tote for the time being. Again, appreciate it, Obi. And he did throw in some extras for me as well, single. So you really didn't have to do that, but it is much appreciated. Last but not least, I got an Erica PSA 10, Japanese, Sun and Moon. It is the full art, the SR card. I love this card. I ended up trading the alt art from Japanese 151. And I just so happened to have another one right here. I had, I graded two full sets of this card um, with the full art and the alt art right back next to each other sequentially. Uh, the one I traded away was a 10. The SR from that one was a nine. So I sold that previously back. And then I was just waiting on the right deal to get rid of that card. I didn't mind hanging on to it for the time being but I still have a sequential set here of TANS, the SR and the SAR. This is a nice addition. I'm still looking for the other alt, uh, the Japanese exclusive Erica. So that one's pretty pricey. I will get that someday to add to the collection. I feel they look really good in these special edition graded guards, but uh, this was my favorite pair. I'm gonna put these up next to each other and they're staying in the PC forever. I love Erica. She is my favorite trainer. Uh, been a fan since I was a kid of her. So picking these up, I was stoked. I mean, I was beyond pleased to get that card. Overall, it was a great weekend. The show, in my opinion, was really good. It wasn't uh, it wasn't as good as the Burlington show I was at a couple weeks ago. Size wise, the Burlington show was massive, two big rooms, but uh, you didn't uh, you didn't really expect a ton when it's at a hotel like that. Uh, I didn't really know how big their convention floor and convention room was. But there was still a ton of vendors. It was a lot of great pickups. I spent the day with friends all over, met people down there, made new friends, went out to eat, uh, went to a really good uh, brewery down there and had a lot of beers, had a lot of great food, went to the card shop, made it back on home later in the day, just in time to let the dogs out. I was kind of pushing it for length of time being home alone, but uh, they were fine at the, uh, at the end of the day there. This upcoming weekend, this next Saturday, we have another show in Winston-Salem. Powell Productions is putting on their show. So that's gonna be another slew of great pickups. We'll see what we get there. But overall, like I said, great weekend. I'm happy with everything I found. A lot of cool additions to the Neo Binder. And I hope everyone else had a great weekend. We will see you on Thursday. Oh, side note, before I go, my PSA order is complete. It's in shipping status. The 49 cards, I already have the three cross graded cards back that were in slabs. So I've just been holding on to those until I get the 49 cards back. So I'm gonna do my 52 card PSA return. If not this upcoming week, 
probably the following week, but I should have the box middle to end of this week. I'll film the vi video and get it ready for posting and we'll go from there. Otherwise, we will see you all on Thursday and I hope you all have a great week in the meantime. Don't stop, baby.